Hey guys, welcome back to G Rose Weapon Tricks. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of the um, yeah, actually another Victory instructor. His name's Gio Leon, right here, and uh, he does sword. And right now we're doing sword in our classes, so I'm going to go ahead and show you his forms because I've been studying him um, so that I can show other people. So let's get to reviewing. Right here, let's go ahead and find Mr. Leon right here. Geo Leon. Now he also does photography, so as you see like right here, he's got photography videos, but I'm gonna go ahead and watch the first one, 2013 US Capitol. If you're unlike anyone else, you're just what we're looking for. Be um, bold, be great, be state. Enroll in uh, your future today. Advertisements, that's good though. He's got ads going. Okay. So stop right there, already with the intensity, out of the gate, watch. I mean, my goodness, how can you get better than that, right? What's he gonna do? Okay, they didn't record his intro, that's alright. Turn it down a little bit. Okay, whoo, <laughs> you see his star right there? See, watch again. He's so, so hyped up, twirls the sword, brings it up from the hip all the way up to the shoulder, and then he strikes. He's doing like six or seven strikes in the matter of two seconds. Pop, 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 oh, here, watch the timestamp again. So he goes, one, and stop right there. Two seconds from 28 to 30. Oh my God, <laughs> way to go, Leon. Stab, beautiful stab right there, because that's a flower behind the head. You guys want to count that with me really quick, how many spins he did with his sword right here? Watch, it goes up, and then he goes one. I don't, you get so fast, you can't even see it. All right. Beautiful Webster, stab again, strike. I mean, look at these stances with the spin and strike there. That punch. Beautiful B-twist. He stabs and slices their head off. Oh. Yes. 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 Can we go back for a second here? Watch it when he goes, I can't, I don't remember. I mean, look at that. First of all, his side swipe. His side swipe. It's real nice. Here, watch when he when he's gonna grab like this, he grabs and then he slices the head off. I think I'm gonna start using that move. Goes around. Ha, ha, ba, ooh. <laughs> oh, it's so sick. And then he grabs, stabs them again. Side swipe, boom. Check out the strong finish. Oh. So first of all, if you didn't know, these pants that he's wearing right here, these are called Hakama pants. Those are used traditionally with the sword. You look like a samurai when you wear them. Um, I do prefer when people are doing XMA or creative to wear those pants. Um, it is up to preference because sometimes people do tricks and they're like, oh, it, it, it's cumbersome or it's in the way, but train with it on because when you train with it on, it makes you just a little bit different, you know? You look different from everybody else when you have them on and you're doing swords, so just my suggestion. But, um, what else do I got for you? So, oh, practice. As you can see with Mr. Leon, speed is key, but the only way to really gain speed in XMA and creative is to train it so much, to work your muscles, you know, get strong. So you wanna use your weapon and you can put like, you can use weights or you can put on hand weights or you can even uh, get something called a boken for your sword. A boken is a wooden stick. I'll put a picture like over here. 
but a bokken is like a wooden stick shaped like a sword and it's heavier than the actual sword will be and so it's a good way to train and how to get stronger. I have a student that has been training with the bokken for a long time and he's getting really strong. Hello Paul Harvey um, and oh hi Claire Harney. Um, these two students have been training with the Vulcan because they were actually the students that started sword in my in my school. I thought that our school was going to be commas all the way, and I currently have one student that really competes with commas. And so um, I want to make sure that you understand the necessity to practice. And that's it. Hey, Mr. Leon. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, ma'am.